Okay, let's talk a little bit about pipe, rounds. In order to make a mark on this pipe, I've got what I call a wrap around. And what it does, surprise, surprise, it wraps around. And it's wide, and this will do up to 16 inch pipe. How do I know that? Because it says that right there. Okay, they make these wrap arounds to go 30, 40 inch pipe. So when you're making a cut, if you have a wrap around, use it. If you don't have a wrap around, cut off some tin, something that gives you a straight edge that will roll. Otherwise, you're going to have to do it by eye or whatever way suits you. I got a wrap around. Pay attention to these things and be careful with them. They're expensive, but they'll last a long time. And all you do is wrap it back up, put it back in your container, and it'll be ready for you the next time. So, let me just wrap this up, turn this here in place, bring my wrap around around, line up my edges right here, pull it tight on your wrap around, make your mark. Around the pipe. That will give you a nice straight line to cut on. Now, Basically, if you have the right tip, lay this in here into my bricks. I've spread my bricks apart so I have a little cradle so the pipe won't rock and roll on me, and I can just kind of spin it. Okay. If you had a set of pipe rolls, you would set them on your pipe rolls, and you would roll the pipe. If you don't, sometimes this pipe is in position you've got to cut around it. What you're going to try and do is you're going to try and keep your torch at a 90 degrees to the pipe the whole time around. There'll be times when you're actually going to have to make a cut in this direction. Oh well, that's what you're going to have to do depending on how the pipe, the, the material, the job you're working on is going to dictate this is going to be said over and over again. The job dictates how you have to handle it. Sometimes you're going to be in a pipe and you're going to be cutting it this way. Well, what you're going to try and do optimally is keep 90 degrees away from the pipe so your cut is straight all the way through. Because generally, we're going to have to reshape the end of this pipe in order to mate it to another piece of pipe. But let me just show you how to make this cut. No different than if you were cutting a piece of quarter inch plate. This pipe is a thin wall pipe. It's about a quarter of an inch. So, let me light off. Get in position. Get comfortable. Decide which end of this pipe I want to keep. I'm going to keep the long end, so I'm going to start my cut outside here. As soon as it heats up, it gets shiny, go through it, pierce it. Then I'm just going to come up, keep it in line. And when it feels uncomfortable, I'm going to stop, make myself a little circle. Now, you notice that little circle that I made right there? That's so that I can come back in and start now I just rotate my pipe over, come back in, start it on the outside edge again, come up, keep my direction the same, try and stay 90 degrees, make a little burnout, roll my pipe. Stay 90 degrees as much as I can. That's going to keep my cut even, keep my heat even. Go as far as is comfortable for you. Sometimes you'll go over the edge. Now, if you can't make a circle, if you need to save both sides of the pipe, don't make a circle. Stop your cut, and you'll have to start right back in the same spot. So I'm going to get lined up. Get my cut coming around. This time I'm not going to make a circle. I'm going to pull out. Now when I start my cut again, I'm going to go right back into the same spot.
and come over the top. And there's my pipe. Now let's take a look at it. Again, I'm not a machine. I'm trying to keep this cut as straight as I can. But as I come up, my comfort zone changes and I may have to move a little bit this way or a little bit that way. When that happens, you'll notice that the kerf, the cut line, changes a little bit from 90 degrees over. Right here is a little bit when I started getting over the round, over the top, you notice that cuts a little bit over? This is a good cut. I'm going to be able to clean this cut up in no time at all. Now, remember when we did that beveled plate and we put that eighth of an inch landing on it? In a pipe this size, I want about a sixteenth of an inch landing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this pipe, I'm going to bevel it, I'm going to leave about a sixteenth of an inch landing. That's what I'm going to use if I'm going to mate to another piece of pipe. Okay, I've shown you how to cut the circles, I've shown you how to cut some pipe, I've shown you how to cut some round bars. Now, I'm going to bring up a piece of rusty old angle iron with some rivets in it. I'm going to show you how to do some cleanup and how to get rid of some rivet heads.